Most people in the world are familiar with what is and isn't propriety. Propriety has to do with a lot of things between couples and people in general society and how they relate to one another. Every single person on the planet should know that the first rule of yourself is to keep your motherfucking mitts to yourself. Now when I say it like this, I'm being very clear because apparently there are some black women and black men and white men and white women that just think they have the right to put their hands on someone that is not theirs. What I mean is that they think they have the right to touch their clothing and resize it so it's tight fitting. They don't have the right to do that. People have the right to choose their fashion. People have the right to decide what of their private body they do and don't want exposed to the world. But what we know about the idiocy of the porn industry is that it is teaching people to voyeur on people's bodies and to be completely immoral in front of God above. This is the problem that churches talk about, but the liars of America sit in those churches feeling their sin of their addiction, but then the bitches who hate them, the bitches who want to hunt people who just go to hear the presentation, to see what's being shared in a church, also abuse people. They think because the person went there they have a problem. They don't. I've sat in on those things and I do not have one problem with that industry on two parts. The first part is that I know that intimacy is something that is not taught in schools, not taught in colleges, and certainly not taught by your parents at home. They can show you the Where Did I Come From book, but that's not where I'm going to teach you how to be a proper intimate partner in the world. The Bible definitely has a chapter of that called the Song of Solomon, I believe it is, and that teaches men and women and their partners and whatever they are how to be with each other. But at the same time, people are stupid about the language, so they might not have gotten that message. At the same time, we have an entire nation that pushes Bibles on people when they're homeless, but they don't actually practice the lifelines within them. Now, when I'm talking about the two sides of that is the first side of that that I do believe that there is some worth in some types of educational videos for people of the earth. But at the same time, on the opposite contradiction, I feel that the porn industry has to go. It is teaching young boys and young girls that they are a piece of meat, an object for a treat of someone, and it is offensive to see bestiality noted as an option in those sites. Any person who is a man knows that porn exists. It's existed all throughout time. When the sailors were overseas, they had their pretty little cards with the girls on them and the pin-up dolls, and the women of Hollywood did that for them to keep them, well, enticed, focused, and whatnot. Let's face it, the Bob Hope NSO tours did that too. They brought Raquel Welch and other beautiful women in front of the sailors to say, hey, we're going to entertain you, but hey, check out this girl. And they did that. But the reality of the world is not that. The truth of relationships is not in those videos that are so pornographic they shouldn't be shown. So what we have is that one side of people trying to educate on how to have a good sex life with a sexologist, but on the other half we have the dis indiscretions of, of immorality that teach what is unhealthy for people to watch, view, and be aware of. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I'm speaking the truth about this that those companies are using telephone lines to use that abuse in our homes. That we barely have the right to turn off our modems anymore because anyone who has hacking abilities can turn them on. I completely miss my white late wife's computer that someone went into my home, probably a maintenance man, and destroyed. It still worked. It wasn't perfect, but it still had potential. But when I picked it up to check it out, I found it totally abused, totally ruined, and it was like somebody put cement inside the thing. And maybe they did. But it used to have, it was an old Toshiba, and it had this great little switch on the side of the computer that allowed you to turn the, comp the internet off and on. And I really think those mechanical switches should come back to our computers so that companies that own the software in our computers and companies that want to put software in our computers don't have the right to hack us and interfere with our rights to control 
the amount of time that we use our Wi-Fi networks that we pay for in our homes.